Thanks a lot, Jacob. Well, the nonprofit organization Living Life in Pink held its fourth annual breast cancer walk today at Peter's Rock Activity Center in Starkville. Now, this year, the organization wanted to take a more interactive approach to raise awareness. WCBI's Cash Matlock was there and has a story. In 2014, uh, July 12th of 2014, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. These are the words that can bring fear to almost anyone, but they're also the words that can bring an entire community together. Living Life in Pink is a Starkville based nonprofit organization focused on making a difference in the community. So we're, our walk is just a little bit different. I guess you can call it a parade walk or whatever. But what we're trying to do this year is to try to bring information to our, to our community. And the event featured vendors who shared information about insurance policies, health care, body detox, and how to properly check yourself for any lumps. Take three fingers. Okay. Press it right there. Three fingers. Press down gentle in a slow okay. circular motion. Can you feel it? Yes. So, so I'm, I'm able to feel like a small lump. Yes. Okay. Vendors say it's important for everyone to get checked. If you don't have the financial need to get it, have a mammogram done, OCH Breast Center can offer you some um, free assistance for you. Event coordinator and cancer survivor Linda Young says she wants to one day not just be able to provide free information, but free items that cancer survivors may not have access to. We can actually give free items, like even weeds, you know. Young says providing these readily available items is crucial for some people. Because cancer is so expensive, and one diagnosis can totally bankrupt you. Breast cancer is one of the most common diseases in the United States, but event organizers say the majority of people don't look for the early signs. Because they're not doing their monthly breast examinations, um, they're not getting their checkups, and they're just not aware of their body and what's going on. So. But despite the lack of knowledge, the men and women of Living Life in Pink are optimistic for the future. And hopefully one day, that uh, in the near future, that we'll have a big parade down, straight down town Starkville. <laughs> in Starkville, Cash Matlock, WCBI News. Now, if you'd like more information or on how to get involved, you can visit Living Life in Pink's Facebook page.